Hello and welcome to State's Mirror News, Karnataka. Today's headlines. Day after the election, Commission sought evidence from Karnataka Congress over its corruption rate card. Advertisements published in newspapers targeting the BJP ahead of the Assembly elections. The party on Sunday hit back accusing the EC of taking action in violation of Articles 14 and 21 of the Constitution and subjecting it to unfair and unequal treatment. Uneasy calm prevailed in Manipur on Sunday, four days after the state spiraled into ethnic violence with thousands either taking refuge in neighboring northeastern states or being evacuated from conflict zones by their respective governments. Prime Minister Narendra Modi signed off his high-voltage campaign for the Assembly elections in Karnataka with a roadshow in Bangalore and two public rallies at Ainur in Shivamugga and at Nanjangud in Mysore district on Sunday. He also met 49 persons from the Hakkipiki tribe hailing from Sadashipura, Shibumoga district who were recently rescued from Sudan. With this, he addressed a total of 18 public rallies and held three road shows in the state since April 28 when he launched his campaign. Despite Prime Minister Narendra Modi's roadshow in central parts of the city on Sunday morning, students reach examination centers without any hurdles for the National Eligibility Commentrance Test. NET UG NEET UG 2023 held in the city. 22 people drowned when a tourist boat capsized in the Purafuza story in Mallapuram district of Kerala on Sunday. The death toll is likely to go up as several passengers are missing. External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar said here on Sunday that he was prepared to take lessons on China from Rahul Gandhi but learned that he himself was taking lessons from the Chinese ambassador and hence he would rather talk to the original source. People will never reject a leader who continues to do good work, understands the needs of all in the community and stays close to them, says Shantinagar MLA Nalapad Ahmed Haris, who is now seeking a fourth consecutive term from the same seat representing the Congress. The Congress leaders, including Priyanka Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, M. Malika, Jun Kharge and others, held roadshows and addressed rallies in various parts of the state as the political campaigning reached its crescendo on Sunday ahead of the May 10 elections. Eligibility open to NRIs, PIOs and OCIs living abroad with a PhD MDMS from a recognized university. Applicants must be researchers with a proven track record of research and development in the top 500 QS World University ranked academic research industrial organizations. They must plan to conduct research in an Indian institute for one month minimum to two months, maximum in a year spread over three years. The West Division Cyber Crime Police are on the lookout for an unknown person who is conducting an online survey in the name of the Election Commission of India. Appaji is coming to your doorstep to seek your votes. Please come out. A loudspeaker blared while an electric buggy carrying the 92-year-old industrialist turned politician Shamanur Shivashankarappa slowly moved in a narrow lane of a residential colony in Devangiri Cotton Mills area. The Janta Dal Secular is not averse to banning liquor in the state if people wish for it, former Chief Minister Hashdi Kumaraswamy said on Sunday. The BJP was the one that extended the sale of liquor to villages. If people wish to, we will ban the sale of liquor completely, Mr. Kumaraswamy announced at Doddabalapur. He said that leaders from North India have been wooing voters on behalf of two national parties and they have suddenly developed a liking for Karnataka. Two moist were killed in an exchange of fire with the police in Puttapadu forest area under Chhattisgarh's Kistaram police station limits near Telangana's boundary village of Yarrampadu in Charla Mandal. The Andhra Pradesh government is making efforts to safely bring back more than 150 students held up in Infal, the capital city of Manipur, due to violent clashes over the Miti community's demand for reservation. Leader of the opposition in the Kerala Assembly, Viri Satisan, on Sunday penned a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, expressing anguish over the tragic events of vandalism against churches and persecution of members of the Christian community in strife torn Manipur. Tamil Nadu's peak power demand is expected to be nearly 23,000 MW by 2027 to 28. It is expected to grow at a compounded annual rate of 5.8% from 17,306 MW in 2022 to 23. 
The Telangana government's plan to airlift about 250 students from the state stranded in Manipur has been postponed to Monday, officials said. Keep watching States Mirror News, Karnataka.